Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be filming my booktube thon TBR. I usually hate doing TBR videos because I really, really suck at sticking to TBR. But I do a booktube thon TBR video every single year. I want to keep up the tradition of doing it this year. And because there are a few books that I know pretty much for sure that I'm going to be reading. But I do have a lot of alternate different options because I'm very much a mood reader and I change my like I change what I want to read constantly and I just read whatever I'm in the mood for in the moment. And also during the book Tubathon I film a lot but I don't edit it until like closer to the end. I'm gonna be uploading my book Tubathon vlogs either in one or two huge chunks or just one huge chunk at the end of the week because I dedicate all of my free time to reading during the book Tubathon and so I film a lot but I just won't get to it till the end of the week so all my book Tubathon vlogs that I film will be available at the end of the book Tubathon most likely but I will be filming like daily stuff on my Instagram stories so if you do want to see that I'll put a link in the description for my Instagram so you can see that if you're curious and yeah so let's just jump right into the TBR all eyes on me. So the first category for the book Tubathon is read a book with a person on the cover. And so for this, I'm either going to be reading Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a super long time and it's very highly recommended by everyone. So I'm most likely going to be reading either Archer's Voice or The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. This is book four in her series that I've been dying to get to. I really love this series. And I got it on Amazon Prime on Prime Day. So I was like, oh, now that I have a physical form, I'm more likely to read it. So I might even read both of these. I don't know. I'm definitely probably going to get to either one of these. Number two is to read a hyped book. So for this, I mean, they're going to be reading The Hate You Give because this book has been getting so much hype this year. Like, it's arguably probably the most hyped book of the year so far. I haven't read it yet, and I really would like to read it. It's just the only thing is that it's really long for a readathon. It's like 450 pages or something. So I'm either going to be reading that one or Every Hearted Doorway, which is more likely maybe the option because it's so short and it's it looks easy to read and because this one is also very hyped non-stop talked about by my friends and so I would love to finally read this one. Number three is to finish a book in one day and so for that I'm either doing that Every Hearted Doorway, I'm gonna try to read that all in one day because it's so short, or I might also read Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover. This was in my Booktubeathon TBR last year and I didn't get to it so clearly that shows how committed I am but if I'm in the mood for like Colleen Hoover then I'll definitely be picking up this one. Number four is read about a character that is very different from you. And so for that one, I figured The Hate You Give would be a good um, one for this one because it's about an African-American girl, so that's different from me. I might also read History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera because this follows a gay boy, so that's different from me. And because I've been dying to read this book for like ever and I've never gotten around to it yet, or I might also read this book Openly Straight um, because I just got this from the library and because this is about a gay boy as well and looks interesting. So I might be reading any of those three for that. Number five is to finish a book completely outdoors. And so my plan for this one is to take Maybe Not out to like the lake or um, Every Hearted Doorway, just one of those, and just read it by the lake and just finish it all by the lake because I want to read a short book outdoors. I don't want to be outdoors for very long. I'm an indoor reader. I don't even think I've ever read a book outdoors before to be honest. Number six is read a book you bought because of the cover. So for this I think I'm going to be reading Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index. This is actually like the book Tubathon book that everybody is going to be reading apparently. Ariel announced on the book Tubathon channel that this book is going to be the book that everyone reads so you just kind of like try to fit it into a category. Hopefully I'll be reading this. I mean I don't know if I don't really know much about this book so I just saw it at the library so I thought I should pick it up since it's like the book Tubathon read so I might give this one a chance if I don't end up liking it though I might also read The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord for this category because this cover is gorgeous and I know this book has been getting a lot of hype recently and then the last category is to read seven books and so my plan for this is obviously just to read one of the other alternate ones that I was hoping to read. Like, I hope I can read Archer's Voice and The Gravity of Us, and then that would make, like, seven, you know. Really, really excited for the book Tubathon. It starts in a week, and I'm I'm really competitive, and in the past years, I haven't done that well. Like, I think the most I read was three books, and that was last year. I just lost a lot of motivation, but, you know, this year, it's all good. I'm done with my classes. All I'm doing is working lately, so I'm hoping that I can read at least four books and beat myself last year and I'm really not that worried about it. I'm really confident this year. Like hopefully I can do the seven books. I'm like, 
I want to do it, you know? Are you participating in it and are you excited for it? What books are you going to be reading for the Booktubeathon this year? Super pumped. So pumped. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. Welcome to the better life. All eyes on me. Feeling like I'm too pot. <coughs> oh, Jesus. I hate <coughs> allergy season. Okay. <laughs> I just need to get my shit together.